In this tutorial, I'm going to have a look at a bit of node sculpting to simulate a live perspective or envelope effect in Inkscape 0.46. Now, if some of you have been wondering why I haven't made a screencast lately, then it's because of this particular topic. Several weeks ago, one of our loyal viewers, Mr. Don Waters, sent us a YouTube link of Edgar Basto 19's video that showed how to simulate the mold tool from Zara in Inkscape. It's here. Doing this in Inkscape is not the same as doing it in Zara, but it's close and some of you might find it useful. Richard Don and I studied the YouTube video rather closely and eventually figured out what he was doing. The video is kind of in rough shape. I think we combed that footage more thoroughly than the JFK assassination video by the time that we were done. I bet I watched it at least 20 times myself. I tried contacting the YouTube video author, but he is being rather silent. Perhaps he isn't interested in others poaching his work. Or maybe he's just watched some of my screencasts and didn't want his reputation dragged downward along with mine. Anyway, I had a long email exchange with Don and Richard discussing this newly discovered trick. Don figured out the brunt of the work while Richard and I piped in with our input. The both of them had some pretty interesting tips, which I'll try to illustrate the best that I can. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make some text. I'll just make this all capitalized and I'll just create some random text here. Okay, and I'm going to make this text bold. And I'll stretch this up to size a little bit. And we'll make this just a little bit more. Okay. That's pretty good text. Now what I'm going to do is uh, grab a rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle around here and we'll push that to the back. That looks pretty good. You don't need to go too big uh, on the rectangle just as long as it, it covers most of the text. Alright, I'm going to select both of these. We'll open up our align tool, set it for page, and I'll just center that up. I'll just hide that away for now. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, select our um, red rectangle and remove the fill. And I'm going to select both of these. We'll go to path and we'll convert both of them to a path. So when we double click, you see that we have the nodes here and the nodes here. Whoops, don't want to add a node yet. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and duplicate that and move that up to the top. We're going to use that copy later. And I'm going to take this bottom one and we'll move it down and I'll work on this one. Now I'm going to select our rectangle. I'm going to select our node tool and that will expose our four nodes that we have on each corner. We want to add more. You can do that by either windowing around here or you can do that by hovering over one of them, turning it red, and using the wheel on your mouse to select them. Okay, once all the nodes are selected, you can either use the insert key to add nodes or you can use the add node icon here. We're going to add, we're going to click, uh, this key just one time to add a node here, 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 and here. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to highlight both of these and we're going to do a combine on that. Richard found that this is probably about the best way of doing it, so uh, I'll duplicate what he's done. And by doing that, it combines the shapes and uh, removes the color here but when you highlight it and select nodes you see that all nodes are selected now okay now having it selected what we're gonna do is window around everything to select all the nodes the nodes will turn blue when they're selected and what we're gonna do is um, I'm on uh, Ubuntu right now um, I think in Windows you have to hold the alt key down first before you select this node uh, since I'm in Linux, I have to select the node first, then hold the Alt key down. Okay, so you want to make sure that, that you do that properly. And we're going to stretch this upward. 
okay and I'll drop that off and you see that whenever I stretch the text follows um, what I've stretched okay so I'm gonna stretch this again and we're gonna go in the opposite direction and again this is kinda of simulating a live path okay so I'll hold that down select our alt key and I'll drag this this down okay and I'm not gonna go too extreme here we'll drop that off and now you see we've got a nice um, like envelope type effect and that's kinda of what what Zara is doing Zara's tool works a little bit better it's a little bit more mature pro project than uh, Inkscape but this is close one of the things that you'll need to notice though uh, or I'm sorry one of the things that you'll need to take note of um, when you push this around and I'll demonstrate it here let me grab this okay our alt key and I'll grab this one do alt key you notice that the letters do not um, parallel the outer shape of this line here what I mean by that if uh, you were to take a bezier path and just kinda strike it against this corner of the B and of the D here I'll zoom in on this. You notice that it's not quite perfect where that letter R should be pushed up a little bit. This is where the node sculpting comes in. So what you'll need to do is uh, highlight this and uh, to expose the nodes and just grab the nodes that you need to tweak. So we're going to grab this one. We're going to hold our control key down to keep it straight. And I'm just going to push it up to that Bezier path. Same thing with this. We'll just push that up just a little bit actually there's two nodes there and the same thing with the B okay maybe the B is a little too tall or maybe I got my path in the wrong spot there that's probably what it is but I'll just show you how easy this is we'll just move this down okay so you do have to do just a little bit of tweaking to keep everything in parallel with uh, with the rectangle behind it let me zoom back out here But that's not a big deal. I've I've seen uh, jobs where uh, you've done quite a lot of node sculpting just to do something sim just to do something simple, and for the most part, this takes care of most of the heavy work, and you just got to tweak the letters just a little bit. Okay, so let's say for example you were done here. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to get that text out of there. So we'll select this object, we'll go to our path, and we'll do a break apart. Once you've broken it apart you can delete the the piece behind it to just get to the letters and you can select your colors now they're all individual pieces which I'll I'll get to that in just a second we'll give it a color and what we're gonna do is take this B shape push it to the back to expose the cutouts here we're gonna select a cutout we'll select the the B shape and we'll do a difference to cut it back out Okay, you got to do that for everything that has a hole through the text. And then with the letter O, we're going to push it to the back. We'll select the small, select the large. Difference. And I'll just go through each one of these and just do a difference on these. okay now also these are individual entities you can either combine them by selecting all of them and grouping them or you can recombine those to make it uh, one entity again we'll do that now now it's it's one shape so you can use that text um, in your in a project okay so having done that now let's uh, let's push that down to the bottom get it out of the way and let's take this text here move it down in the middle and we'll center up our page okay now let's see where we left off here 
Okay, we'll want to take all these things, make it a path. And this time around, I'm going to show you what adding more nodes does. Okay, so we're going to double click this rectangle. Oops, there we go. And we're going to select all the nodes here, all four of them. And we're going to click this several times to get more nodes around here. Okay, now what we're going to do is take both shapes and we are going to combine those. And we'll select everything here. We'll hit our node tool. And we'll select everything again. And this time when I pull up on this middle one, and, and by the way, you don't have to pull up on the middles. I mean, you could pull up on these ends, you know, if you want your text to be skewed out that way. Do whatever you want. I'm just pulling up on the middles just because it's easiest to do it that way. But anyways, when, when we have more nodes around here, you'll notice that when I pull up on this, it has more of a curvature now where before it was straight. Okay? If that's what you're trying to, uh, if that's what you're trying to achieve, then uh, this is what you need to do. Okay, let's pop that up. Kind of looks like a championship wrestling belt if you're into that sort of thing. Okay, so now that you, now that we've done this here, the, the shape behind looks a little rough. And that's because uh, each node was a corner rather than a curve. But you see that the text is nice and blended. And if that's something that you're going for, then that's perfect. Okay? So again, you can take this and break it apart and delete that. Okay? And you can use that in whatever you're doing. So that's kind of how you do uh, an envelope effect and kind of a live path effect combined. Um, Inkscape does have its own envelope effect. It works very similar to the per... per uh, perspective effect, but this kind of works a little bit closer to, uh, to Zara's way of doing it. So thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.